the blade. I was the yeah, 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 yeah. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Every single one of y'all there. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell to stay in tune with everything that we got going on. I know y'all popping the weapons. I'm here to talk about Smack Volume 11. Shout out to my brother Showtime SP, all my network partners up at Fox 5, and my dog Scrap. You know what I'm saying? We back in business, back in effect. Got a lot of things going on. It's been a lot of pollen outside, so you might hear a little congestion in me, but I've been doing my thing. I've been doing my four or five miles a day. I've been working out. I've been drinking water. You know what I'm saying? I'm under the weather, but I can still run with whoever. So we'll get this done but shout out to my brother SP he did come by yesterday but I was like ah you know I'm not feeling the greatest and I don't want to give you nothing if I got something so he'll be back real soon but we're gonna get this shit done you know what I'm saying get with me get with me shout out to Grails Inc I was on their show last night talking about the sneaker culture and shit like that I threw on the um, old school pennies you know what I'm saying y'all remember these joints these shits right here it's crazy I love it it's one of my top 10 favorite joints I'm not a I'm not a Miami Dolphins fan but you know I throw shit together with everything but smack volume 11 Ah, it's fine with me. I'm glad that you're spending time with me. See, the thing is, Smack got to realize, and everybody should know, that they the, they the preliminary leaders of the culture. They've been doing this shit for years. We can't wait for everybody else to throw an event. You got to get outside. Y'all got to lead. You got to lead from where? The front. You know what I'm saying? So I'm glad they're actually outside. You know what I mean? Quick five battle card. Got Tay Rock versus Sirius Jones. Charlie Clips versus Chef Trez. Hustle versus Chess. Twerk vs. T-Top, Ace Amin vs. Oom P. Now, it's going down uh, next Saturday. I mean, next Sunday. Yes, next Saturday, March 16th. My birthday is actually the 15th, so shout out everybody out there. Um, and I got some thoughts about this. First of all, URL's coming back, and that's dope. Uh, I see a lot of people talking about large rooms, small room, volume, small room. A lot of people, you normally associate volumes with small rooms. So, there are some battles on this card that will definitely do better than others in a small room. Sirius Jones versus Tay Rock. That's my first thought. So, I know a lot of people have been resurfacing the old clip of Surf saying, if you battle Sirius Jones, I'm not going to be in gun titles anymore. I'm you know, looking at me? Listen, nigga, listen, I will never battle this. That nigga ducked Sirius Jones. If he battles Sirius Jones, I will not. I'm done gun titles. <laughs> Quit. Listen, listen, listen. I quit. Listen, hey, man. Surf said he go quit. Yo, listen. If you battle Surf, duckin'. Niggas is duckin'. 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 Go ahead, keep battling easy victims, though. We got this nigga right here. Out of here, you know what I'm saying? Because I said in another blog, I felt like Sirius Jones is one of, if not the most disrespected veteran ever. And it's been through, like, just not now. It's just been a series of years because he was there with the Jins, with the Murder Mooks, with the Loaded Luck. He was in that same sphere, but between whether it be uh, narratives, battles, situations, Sirius Jones is here, right? He's gonna battle Rock. Uh, they got history, I ain't gonna lie. Rock and Sirius Jones been going back and forth for a long time, and Rock actually asked for Sirius Jones before too, so I know he's gonna take the battle serious. It'll probably be in a small room, because I feel like small room is the best chance Sirius Jones has to probably even get around, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna break this down more in depth with SP, you know what I'm saying, like I said. Uh, so here we'll get into round, round, round and how you feel, but so far, like just looking into it from the outside looking in, I definitely have rock. Now, here's the thing, Sirius Jones, he, he do get into different pockets of flows, he is able to rap, but Rock is a crowd favorite, so that's why I say it depends on where the setting is gonna be. That setting where Rex battled chess is perfect. Perfect, where it's just like 20, 30 people in there, niggas could get all their bars off that extra crowd attention. This is just my personal opinion, but I think for certain people like a Sirius Jones, for him to even have a remote chance of doing anything with Rock besides getting smoked, is in a small room. You put him on a big stage, it's, just, it's not gonna go that way. You, they know that coming into it. You put Sirius Jones on a big, what, cause, and then I'll ask this without hating. What, what big stage Sirius Jones performance can you go to, like yo, him versus Hitman, him versus Ill Will, him versus DNA, him versus Hollow the Dawn. I'm talking about a bunch of rock performances on big stages. Another cut, another cut, another cut. Bang, 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 bang. Nigga, seatbelt won't buckle up. You know what the fuck going on? Keep your money low. So, I don't know what Sirius Jones will be able to do in a big room besides get brand down. You know? And Rock is mad because of the whole little situation that happened over the weekend with his, uh, Band in Montana battle. Now here's the thing. I do feel like uh, Rock is in a position as to where he could kind of like 
control the situation because Sirius Jones, he's headlining the car, but Sirius Jones don't really headline many cars. But shout out to him, not hating, keeping it moving. Charlie Clips versus Chef Trez. You would have thought that this battle happened 10 times already. I would have thought this shit happened on uh, Bullpen, URL, goddamn uh, <laughs> Black Ice Cartel, a uh, whole bunch of these. But I would have thought that Clips and Trez would have battled already. I went and checked on YouTube to see. I'm like, because I didn't know that. Because they, they got me last week with the Trez versus Fonz. These niggas battled already. These niggas, I did I, dog, I see thousands of battles. I'm not going to remember. They battled already. But you never battled Clips before. <sighs> Clips on URL. It's a, it's, a, it's a fucking, it's a coin toss, you know what I'm saying? Some days he might show up in there freestyle, other days he might do like he did versus New Jersey Twerk. Too much of an anomaly, so I really can't, like I fuck with clips. His last performance where C3 was serviceable, but his last couple performances have not been anything what Chef Trez do. Now the thing is, Trez has been putting, he's been power packing his rounds, so it's not just he's nice with the freestyles rebuttals, he could do them, but I feel like Clips is gonna be up there trying to rebuttal, trying to freestyle. I got Chef Trez, you know what I'm saying? Chef Trez has been moving this way. Clips has been, Trez has just been consistently, consistently as inconsistent. Uh, Miss Hustle versus Chess. I'm going with the Bronx. You know, y'all know how Miss Hustle be doing me, so I ain't gonna really make a whole bunch of uh, schematics about this shit. I got Chess winning. We just gonna do that. Especially if I get Chess that was in the volume room that I just had versus Rex. That was a great battle. Uh, Chess did his motherfucking thing. Uh, I really don't have major issues with Hustle. She be trying to sue me and she be talking about me in spaces. So I got Chess. 2-1 if not 3-0. That's just how we gonna do that. New Jersey Twerk versus T-Top. They're friends. So I don't even know the competitive nature of the battle. They've been in a 2 on 2 These niggas been on a fucking 2 on 2 before. They this motherfucker's lying. They was on a 2 on 2 and they haven't even battled each other. And they battled. I think they would have been doing one of the little, I don't count the video battles. I don't, they might, I think they battled in a the little video shit in the quarantine. I don't remember, but I don't count that. And they battled in the two on two before. So these niggas is friends. Um, T Top just had a really good performance versus Snake Eyes where he beat him. And he just had a performance versus New Nigga on the weekend where he choked. Hey yo, what the fuck? Twerk been consistent all year. Twerk ain't been choking. I just seen him up on um, Fox. He was in his bag. T-Top is, to me, is, to me, just my personal opinion, another day at the office. Now, I feel like T-Top will bring it and make the battle a little bit more interesting, but his last big time battle on a big stage was against John John. Happened to be the worst battle on the card, or one of the worst, if not the worst. I'm just calling like I call it so I can't sport it. So we gonna, we gonna have to do that, you know what I mean? But going into this, into the whole situation, looking at it from the outside, looking in, Twerk is electric, big stage, small room. Twerk gets through all three rounds. Twerk is very difficult to beat. The problem is, this is the problem. You know what I'm saying? This is the problem with New Jersey Twerk. Get in, motherfucker. Listen to what the fuck I'm saying, right? The problem is, the shit you niggas used to be able to rely on with this nigga, like him not finishing his rounds or choking and shit like that, that shit's not happening. So what the fuck is you going to do? What is you going to do to beat them three rounds? Because I know that nigga's going to be strapped in. He's going to be wobbling on you. He's going to be bombing on your ass. Small room volume? Oh, come on, man. That nigga trying to start his shit off right. He's trying to start his shit off right. I got twerk winning that one. And the anomaly of the whole card is Ace Amin versus Oom Pete. Now, shout out to Ace Amin. Shout out to Oom Pete. I call it like I call it so I can't spoil it. This is my channel, niggas respect my handle. You know what I'm saying? I do my own thing. I don't I don't conform to the standards. I call this shit like I see it. My step back might not be the same as everybody else's, but I can still make it, right? So Ace just got 30 by shotgun shook. Um P had a battle with a, uh, he battled Reed, he won, and he had a other couple of skit joints on the side that he's been doing. He do a lot of freestyles. Uh, Ace I mean, he be he, he has the toughest, I keep saying, the disconnect your internet, your internet. Once I disconnect your internet, your internet, like you disconnect that shit right there, it leads, he raps so fast that he will get to points where he starts stuttering and stumbling and shit, you know what I'm saying? In a small room volume, Ace has the advantage. Because when he gets into those pockets of flow, they're gonna sound 10 times better in that small room. You I like PVC, so it's Coco, no BT, TCP, New Balance, Mumbo Sauce, TCP. I'm gonna win this for Prince George's County. This Baltimore nigga better leave me be. I'll take a trip up 9.5, and it's gonna be a WPGC. <laughs> it's a Rizzy. But them flows that he uses, the compact, 
disconnect, disconnect, this dot 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 dot, the intellect, the intellect, the intellect, the metal, the metal, the metal, the half, the metal, like that type of shit is very, very hard to get on. I, I, he's one of the few rappers whose bars I never break down. Cause it takes too long, I can't, I don't have the, 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 the I can't do it, you know what I'm saying? SP, he's the god, but I, I can't, Ace have to send me his shit. Uh, um, P, I don't see um, P enough for me to feel, make him feel like he just gonna walk on a URL and be an ace I mean. That's a tall task. Now if he does it, I'd be shocked. But the thing is, a lot of the rappers who was rapping like when the shit first started, who come in here and try to do the battle rap shit now, a lot of they shit be dated. A lot of them just be rapping raps. They don't be battling, they just be rapping, you know what I'm saying? I pull up in my five and I'm I pull up with the five and six, I'm pulling out the seven. Oh, I'm holding eight. You know the game, like they just be rapping to be rapping. Um peace from the Bronx, you know what I'm saying? Ace I mean from DMV area. I fuck with Umpi. I got a lot of confidence and I got a lot of you know, say admiration for him. This is one of those situations where Oom P could pull a Reed Dollars. You know what I'm saying? Hit his area with 51, everything in Nevada fly. He did, oh, uh, he throw, throw dirt on the floor, I feel like Briz, I don't wanna murder no more. That nigga Reed was going crazy. It's all about the adjustment. If you could adjust and get what was going on in these times, then for sure, you know what I'm saying? I would have Oom P. But, you know what I'm saying? That's the one, the one one battle I gotta see. Let that happen and I'll choose a winner when it happens. But the volume, it's good to see the volume back. It's good to see Smack, you know what I'm saying, taking one of the first stances. This joint is gonna be um it's gonna be streamed on um it's gonna be streamed on the URL app, you know what I'm saying? The URL's taking the app, they're gonna be streaming, shit like that, so people can watch the battles there. We're paying for it anyway. Paying for the app, should be able to stream off the app. I pay for the NBA app, I stream off the NBA app. Other apps that I pay for, I stream off of. I shouldn't have to watch your app, then go pay someone else to watch the battles later. The nerve of you. <laughs> but you That's know, like, disrespect. That's so streaming off the app is definitely a good thing, especially if you could do it on the computer, because you can watch the battles on the computer, and you can have your phone to be free all day. I like it. Trust me, I ain't tripping off that. Um, Like I said, I am glad that Smack is back, you know what I'm saying, because all leagues are needed. Regardless, I don't give a fuck if I talk shit. I don't care what it is. I don't got nothing to do with these leagues. I talk my shit because I talk my shit. Now, um, when it comes to a lot of people that I didn't see on here, Jerry West. What the hell is going on with Jerry West? Why Jerry West can't buy a battle? If you want to be honest with me, I feel like Jerry West should have got the Serious Jones. I feel like Jerry West should have got the Serious Jones battle. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Jerry West should have got the goddamn, um, Tay Rock battle. They promoted it. They've been talking more. They've been going back and forth. I get Sirius Jones is a vet, but if you look at Sirius Jones and Jerry West right now, and you ask the fans which one would they be more excited to see, I kind of think the Jerry West side would have been higher. Jerry West ain't on volume. Danny Myers ain't on volume. It's a lot of niggas who put in a lot of work that I would have probably rather see than a few of these names on here, but you know what? Your card, your money, I ain't gonna look at it funny. But Jerry West is a nigga that should be getting some looks. Why he gotta come out every couple years and do y'all like he did Gluezy just to get admiration, just to get put on. He been down damn near a decade. Jerry West been down with these niggas since like 17, 18, dog. It's 2024. What are we doing? Fonz. Fonz should have definitely got a call. He just went crazy versus uh versus uh Chef Trez. He went crazy. He should have got a call. Shit, you could have gave Fonz Jerry West and took some of these niggas up off here. Just saying, I don't even know if they battled before. I don't even care. If they did, they did. I don't think they did though. Because they don't be giving Jerry West looks. So he didn't get that. You know what I'm saying? I'ma just go on the women and say he didn't get it. Because if he got it, I would have knew about it. I would have knew about it. Shout out to Brooklyn. Hey Jerry. Call your agent. Find out what the fuck is going on. And what's the next card you gonna be on? I ain't saying to take anybody off in particular, but I know the streets would have loved to see you versus Tay Rock. Overall. It's a good card. I'm not gonna hate on it because I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna recap most of the joints on there. But uh, you know, it is what it is. Shout out to the subscribers that notification gang. Your boy Vada Fly. Tell your mama I say hi. I'm going to chill. You know, get some um, get some steam on me. You know what I mean, a little eucalyptus treatment. Get all this shit broken up in here. And God bless every single one of y'all. You know what the fuck going on. Gang.